Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Samar. If you have done your BS and looking for an MPhil scholarship, or if you have done your MPhil and looking for a PhD scholarship, then you are on a right place. Today I will tell you how to find a supervisor for MPhil or PhD scholarship. So if you like the video, please share the video and subscribe the channel. So before starting the video, I have to overcome your doubt why we are looking for supervisors, not for scholarship. Actually, I will explain you this thing through an example. For example, there is a scholarship where 100 candidates applied and 10 candidates are only required by the university. So if 10 candidates from those 100 candidates already engaged with some supervisors, then definitely supervisor tell to the university, please let these 10 candidates, we already know them. They have much potential for doing PhD or MPhil research. So please let 10 candidates, we already know them. The university will definitely approve the selection of those 10 candidates, which are already approved by the supervisor. So if you find the supervisor or engaged with the supervisor, he will tell you at which university or at which scholarship you have to apply and what are the documents and what are the procedure for that university. So let's start. First of all, you have to open a browser on your laptop or on your phone. And follow these things. So I am on my browser. You have to just write QS World Ranking. So then first website you will open like US World Ranking 2022 or 2021, whatever that thing you open. So there are main three parts like university search, region search, or location search. The idea is that please make a sheet like in which first of all you write your country where you want to go. And then if you find some universities, then write universities in front of the country. And then if you find some supervisors, then write their name and their email addresses so that you have the sequential way to apply to the supervisors or email to the supervisor. So let's start. For example, I am going to go South Korea. Like there are many people in the world now that I'm going to go South Korea because I think it's good country for education or for other purposes maybe. So for example, there is a first university, Seoul National University, and we have to search supervisor in that university. There is another idea which I want to share with you yourself first, how much caliber you have, how much potential you have, like how much good you are in research. So please check the universities in your caliber ranking, like top ranking or medium or lower. I don't want to demotivate you, but it's a better idea. So for example, we have to check the physics department of the Seoul National University of South Korea. So you have to just open a new page and write Seoul National University physics department. And write here the university name. and also the department in which you are interested. For example, I am interested in physics department. So then it will directly take you to that department. You will not feel worry where is my department, where are the people which are related to my research. So you will directly go to that department. Now we are at this department. Sometimes they give you that search faculty. Sometimes they give you the overall faculty. So for example, let's see what happens there. Okay, so this website is maybe a little bigger. So here we can see there is research and faculty option. There is a research option, there is a faculty. In faculty, there will be the overall faculty and I think so in research, there will be the research faculty who are doing with experimentally start through this one. Oh, let's see, there is another option for physics, physics is a very with subject, so let's start from nuclear physics and particle physics. It's also my field. Let's start from there. So here you can see, yes, physics faculty, these are theorists. And if you are theoretical physicist, then go in one of them and you can go all of them. And experimentally, I am experimental. So let's see, for example, we want to see Kim Sun-Ki 
I don't know the exact pronunciation, but let's see this professor. So it is his number. It is his email. You have to write down the email address in front of supervisor's name. So then let's see its research interest. You have to understand, you have to read the research interest. And if these are related to your work, then it is a good thing for you. You have to take, put a star on that supervisor because he is very close to your work. Maybe he is going to select you. So in this way, you have to find the supervisor and email them. If you don't know what you should write in your email, what the stuff you have to add in your email, then follow my email address video whose link is in description. And then you will easily find out how to write an email to a supervisor and what are the things you should write in them and what are the things which you should not write in them, okay? So in this way, you can find the professor in your field, in your criteria, and related to your search. So guys, if you follow this method, I am damn sure you will definitely succeed it and I am very confident for your success. So thank you so much. If you like the video, please share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.